Hey, what's up guys? Josh here in my office and I just got a package from Unclaimed Baggage. And if you're not familiar with Unclaimed Baggage, it is a uh, website that collects unclaimed baggage from airports and turns it around and sells it. And um, I've been rocking this iPhone SE 2 for a long time, basically since it came out, and uh, it was time for an upgrade. And I found a uh, an iPhone 14 Pro Max for just over $700. It's a 256 gig model. And um, so seemed like a good deal. Now, a couple things I will say about Unclaimed Baggage. I went with their free shipping option. They're based in, I want to say, um, somewhere in Alabama. But um, it's advertised as three to seven days uh, shipping time. On something this expensive, I would assume they'd want to use like a FedEx or something. Something that is a little more robust of a shipping option for something that's this price. Um, but they just use USPS and um, don't add any insurance to it. It's just standard $100 um, which is included. It does have tracking, which generally speaking, USPS packages do these days. But it was a little weird. Um, you know, it it came, um, let's see, this is Saturday. It got here, I ordered it on a Friday a week ago. So, not the fastest turnaround time, but it's fine for free shipping. I mean, I don't know how big their operation actually is. Um, but um, the fact that they just kind of leave it on the porch, even if you're not home, is a little weird for something this expensive. But let's open it up and see what we're working with here. All right, we got uh, oh, we got a brand new charging cable. Just looks like a generic um, charging cable. Some bubble wrap. Now the thing about electronics, and specifically phones, they have to throw out a lot of phones if they are locked. This one was one of the ones that is not locked to someone. Um, I will say right off the bat, they, they claim that they clean these. Um, I mean, I don't know if you can see that. That is not really clean, <laughs> and neither are the lenses terribly clean. So I'm going to take a, uh, a cloth to that real quick. I mean, there are some, like, abrasions on the screen. I wouldn't classify them as scratches, but just, like, the finish is a little worn. Tested fully functional is what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, the lenses look fine. Um, once the screen is actually on, I don't think you'll be able to notice the little abrasions on there. I don't know if you can see that in the shot at all. It's it's negligible for a used phone like this, to be honest. All right, well, let's power it on, make sure it works. So far, so good. <laughs> it's powering on, set up. It's going through set up. Yep, it's prompting me to set up my phone with the old phone, transferring data. There you go, transfer complete. And the new phone is uh, doing its thing. So the only other thing I'll say about unclaimed baggage is um, a week or two prior to ordering this phone, um, I tried to order another um, iPhone 14 and it, would look like it, it, the order would go through and then it would say order canceled and refund my money. And apparently they have um, a third party that authenticates um, purchases and if they think that something sketchy is going on, they'll cancel the order. I'm not really sure what that's about, but um, I tried it three times and the order would not go through. And then... I think a week or two later when I ordered this phone, I noticed that phone was still on there. So 
Um, maybe something wrong with that listing. I'm not really sure. That was a little aggravating, um, but I did end up getting a phone from them. And um, yeah, everything's uh, loading right now. It was a little bit of a hassle. I'm on Xfinity Mobile, and uh, it wasn't terribly straightforward to get through all of the setup, but I've gotten through it now. Um, it looks like I'm connected to the network. Um, the only other thing I'm going to try... Yep, so I just want to go to the iPhone storage and make sure it's actually a 256 gig phone. And I think you can see up top there, it is in fact 256 gigs, which is great because of my last phone, I it was so full that every time I took a photo, it would immediately offload it. <laughs> so this is great. Also, I look forward to experimenting with the ProRes codec on the video recording. That's really cool. Um, I could have gone with a 15, but I just, I don't need um, the extra features that it offers right now. Uh, 14 is plenty for me, especially for video. It has great video. Um, I, I've used Alicia's and I have no complaints. So there really wasn't any reason for me to spend an, uh, another $500 or whatever on that phone. Again, there are a couple weird things with unclaimed baggage that it makes it seem kind of, I don't know if I should say sketchy, but like they want you to download the shop app, which is like a third party app to track your packages and stuff. I don't know. There's some things that are just kind of weird. But at the end of the day, they delivered and um, it's as described. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Great phone for um, just over $700. So with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.